I will speak uh, in uh, it Italian English <laughs> <laughs> and uh, in zero waste language. And uh, I am uh, okay. I am an activist and uh, I am uh, I am uh, an expert. It's a very long time that uh, I am involved involving uh, involved in uh, zero waste uh, in uh, waste management issues. And now I am uh, um, responsible of the uh, Zero Waste Research Center of uh, my municipality, Capannori. And uh, I, I greet, uh, greet you from my mayor, Giorgio Del Gingar, who wants me every place where I go to greet people, audience, uh, uh, activists, uh, uh, mayors, councillors, because Capannori is uh, with uh, everybody, is trying to uh, defeat incineration and uh, to promote uh, best practices. Um, uh, our history, uh, Capannori is uh, a municipality of uh, four, uh, um, uh, 46,000 people, four, uh, 46 uh, and uh, uh, 500 uh, uh, people, and uh, it's uh, the capital of uh, uh, the most important uh, paper mills uh, uh, district, uh, industrial district of Italy. And uh, it's a rich municipality. And uh, some uh, uh, years ago, uh, they wanted to build uh, any, um, an incinerator. Uh, Tuscanian uh, government uh, wanted uh, to build an incinerator in Capannoi. People were involved in a very big, uh, very big demonstrations, and very big uh, debates, uh, and uh, we defeated the incineration in uh, 96. Uh, 96. And uh, not so fast, but uh, the day after the victory, we started with door-to-door uh, -door collection, porta porta, and now Capannori is a very, very uh, important municipality uh, for all Italy. And uh, uh, in Capannori, every day uh, there are uh, TV, there are interviews, there are uh, uh, troops uh, um, asking the mayor how Capannori is, uh, uh, became so famous uh, in Italy, because, uh, why Capannori? Is, uh, was able to promote best practices in uh, in uh, uh, in few time in few time. Um, this is uh, our logo of a research center. Uh, Ambiente Futuro is my uh, association. is uh, uh, an association of activists. It was the heart of the victory against incineration, and the Ambiente Futuro promoted. Uh, a national network uh, involving all Italy in uh, uh, um, battle against incinerator, and uh, the, the other logos are from uh, Zero Waste International Alliance, Zero Waste uh, Europe, and, and Zero Waste uh, Italy. Uh, ten steps uh, to zero waste. And uh, first, first step, uh, first step is to avoid incineration. It, it not only for uh, health uh, reasons. It, uh, not only for uh, environmental reason. If uh, you build an incinerator, you burn paper, you burn uh, plastic, you burn money, you burn an urban ore, uh, you burn uh, money. Now, uh, Europe is saying that we need to recover uh, paper, we need to recover metals, we need to recover uh, metals. And uh, in, uh, uh, on uh, 20, 20 April, uh, on the 20 April, there was a resolution of the European Parliament, uh, and for the first time, the resolution uh, um, has spoken about to put, uh, to put a ban on incineration because we need to recover metals. If you build an incineration, an incinerator, you don't recover metals. Uh, this is a map of our victories. In Italy, we are winning. 
we are winning because incineration, thermovalorization, uh, it's the name of a, uh, uh, of a the incineration industry, uh, is, uh, is, uh, has been defeated in different parts of Italy. But uh, maybe the other very big victory was in Sicily. In Sicily, they wanted to build four huge incinerators. And we was uh, able to defeat uh, this project uh, with Patrizia, with Paul Connett, with all uh, um, local uh, groups and the national groups. Uh, we supported the battle and uh, we, uh, we uh, won. Now, also in Sicily, also in Sicily, in Trapani province, there are many municipalities aiming to zero waste. Uh, the system, uh, uh, four, four beans, one for organic matter, one for uh, uh, plastic uh, uh, and uh, uh, metals uh, and, uh, um, and uh, um, uh, um, glass. Uh, the third one for paper, one time, once for paper, twice for uh, organic matter, uh, once, uh, twice for uh, plastic, one time for plastic, only plastic, to have uh, uh, cleaner, uh, cleaner um, uh, metals, and uh, uh, once for uh, only, uh, only glass. And once a beans, a, a, a bag for residuals. And the, the, the bigger one uh, are for shops, uh, factories, and, and so on. Um, this is uh, a slide from uh, Paul Cornett from Los Angeles, from uh, uh, Neil Sildeman. It's important because, uh, as uh, you can see, uh, the most part of the value of the, of the uh, streams uh, uh, are coming from uh, the bulky, the bulky uh, um, streams, uh, furniture. Um, uh, it's uh, over 40% of the whole value, uh, more than uh, plastic polymers that are very important for the, for the market, uh, more than uh, paper that it's very important. I know very well papers, uh, paper is issues because uh, I am part uh, in Capannori of the paper mill uh, district. And uh, these are the prices of, uh, of uh, paper. Also, the, the worst paper has a price in March uh, of uh, over 130 uh, um, uh, euros for tons. And uh, uh, selective system, only cardboard, uh, uh, arrives uh, um, at the top uh, with over 140 uh, euros for ton. Uh, there is a very important market. We are speaking about not only about waste, but we are speaking about also how to come out from the crisis. Because uh, Europe, in uh, November 2011, produced a paper saying that, that recycling is the main, the main way to come back, to come out from the crisis for, uh, for economy. Now, environment and economy are the same part, are the uh, different part of the same, uh, the same medal and some uh, uh, activity for uh, waste reduction for milk in my, my municipality, but uh, all, all over Italy there are uh, uh, these simple system. And uh, F. Corta, F. Corta is a shop uh, Paul uh, uh, spoke about, uh, about, uh, about F. Corta. Uh, because uh, in Capannori, because uh, uh, these uh, guys uh, promoted, uh, uh, who promoted uh, F. Corta uh, uh, don't live in Capannori, but they came to Capannori because Capannori uh, became famous. So to launch, to promote their business, they chose, uh, have chosen Capannori. For oil, it was very difficult 
because uh, they, they, it, it was complicated to to, um, to find this system to refill uh, to refill bottles of oil and wine and uh, uh, pasta, not only uh, detergent but also solid, also food, and it's important because uh, now in Italy all supermarkets uh, have uh, have a refill system. But the, the difficult is about the pasta, about the solid uh, food. My pupils, I am a primary school teacher, and I have to, it's a little complicated for me to, to, to be in uh, uh, with you and <laughs> to, to, to live, uh, to be again uh, to my school. But, uh, I, I am uh, very strong, so... Uh, <laughs> eco -bimbi system. Uh, residual, because as you know, uh, Enzo uh, told uh, before me, um, um, the supporter of incineration always uh, uh, are saying, yes, we are supporting best practice. We want reduction in Germany. We have a reduction. Uh, we, we love uh, source separation, but uh, anyway, you have 30% to, to treat. Uh, we have to deal with the 30% the, uh, uh, of uh, residual waste. So we offer you a solution. But there are other solutions, interim solutions, to recover again uh, some matter, uh, to stabilize uh, the uh, organic fraction, fraction and uh, uh, we have uh, in front of uh, 100 uh, kilograms of a waste, no more than 12 kilograms to put uh, in landfill. So only 12% now, while uh, best practices are going on, uh, to put uh, in landfill less than uh, if you have to, uh, to put in landfill um, ash, because as you know, ash is 30, 25% of uh, all, uh, all waste coming from incineration. Uh, this slide, it's uh, slowly to show, I go on. Uh, 